Hi folks. So I'm out for a ramble here today with Toby, my buddy. And this is a little walk in a lovely meadow that's about five minutes walk from where I live. Beautiful, beautiful place. Look at this. Stunning. And the day we have. So it's nice to come out and reflect on everything that we're doing with the Irish Ice Hockey Association. Yes, I do have a life outside of that. Uh, and a family and a job. And it is great to see the support we're getting across the world at the moment. March to the Rink was wonderfully successful. Almost 20,000 euro raised at this stage. The link is still live. Please do feel free to go in and donate if you can. But with our new I Have a Dream campaign that we've started, you can see that we're putting up an image every day which reflects the good days, the not so good days, the things we want to have, the things we could have. And a second, I'll call this guy. Come on, Toby. Here he comes, look. Good boy. And we need people to help out. You know, when we look at Ireland, the climate that we have today, for those of you who don't know, Ireland gets all sorts of weathers. We could have snow this afternoon and rain in 10 minutes and all sorts. So we have a bit of a mad climate, but it's, it's beautiful, especially in September. But, you know, sometimes sports suffer because of weather. So having things like an ice rink allows you to train all the year round. Of course, during the summer months, sometimes rinks dial down their activities. And that's okay, because the season is, you know, nobody wants to have kids playing hockey every day, all year round. One of the biggest things we see is, to, is help to keep the kids involved in sports, is that they do other sports. And why not get out and enjoy the sunshine? You know, hockey is brilliant, but it's also something, you know, to, you know, develop over time. So other things like strength, conditioning, running, weightlifting, boxing, hurling, Gaelic football, soccer, whatever, they can do that. Look at this downhill, isn't it beautiful? But all these sports are grass-based sports. But when you look at the talents that we have between kicking, punching, you know, hand-to-eye coordination, we have all of those talents in abundance in this country. And there's no reason why we can't have a very successful team. I look at Denmark a number of years ago, who came from being a nation who wouldn't have been in the top tier, but now are. And are an amazing team, and they've been very supportive in the past. All Rick and the guys have helped with the Irish Ice Hockey Association, coming over to Ireland before. And they've gone from being a nation who were not exactly top to being up there in the top division, including having hosted world championships. Now, just before I go on, have a look at this. This is a beautiful meadow running alongside the famous River Boyne. Look at that. Amazing. So we have a beautiful lush green country. It's wonderful. I wouldn't change it for the world. I've been fortunate to travel all over the world with the army. Um, you know, no place like home. <coughs> but for 30 odd, for, well nearly 40 years now, um, I've been looking to play the sport that I love. Unfortunately, I can't. Or certainly can't to any great degree. Because we have to travel up to Belfast. And I've said in my other videos, we're very thankful to the Dundonald guys and the guys in the Odyssey, the SSE Arena, uh, for the years of support, actually decades of support. But it really is the time to modernise now, Ireland, you know. Sport is huge. We just saw €4 million Euro, almost given to a soccer club in Donegal. And look, I don't begrudge them. Well, I do. But I don't really, really, really begrudge them. Fair play. We've been asking for support where we have investors with a lot of money. 
I'm not talking one or two million. I'm talking a lot of money. Who want to invest in Irish ice hockey on a large scale, elite league level. And we're just getting no help. So, like, what's it take? Are you so blinded by the fact that there are other sports out there that you choose just to ignore us? You won't reply to emails, even though you will acknowledge receipts of them. You'll acknowledge us by text and then won't communicate any further. It is a bit like being the, you know, an outcast. We are full members of Sport Ireland. We went through an entire three-year process. One year, getting our application together, getting accepted, and then two years on probation, where we met and meet all of the criteria as a full member. But yet we haven't seen one share of a post. You know, it's a... Uh, thank God we have times when we can just calm ourselves down because underneath this I am quite frustrated by all of this you know it's uh, it's not that we're asking for something that is beyond acceptable in any other modern society but yet for some reason we seem to think that you know certain sports have you know the pick of what they get. Look, don't get me wrong. The GAA, certainly the GAA, are fundamental to the culture of Ireland. They were there when people were suffering at their worst, going right back to its, you know, its inauguration, its becoming. They've been there. I'm laughing here as well, thinking of my, my good friend Alan Fleming, an army buddy of mine who's also a hockey buddy, put up a comment the other day saying, you know, about Team Ireland, the soccer team, being so shy at, at soccer. He said, why don't you give us a chance to be shy too? He said, but we actually might surprise you as well. And he's right, because we have won. We've played before. We've been promoted to Division 2 in World Championships. Having facilities lets all that happen. Our junior development, the Saints have surprised people globally how they've played. And still, we're battling to get facilities. One facility. There isn't one single facility in the Republic of Ireland. Let that sink in. Not one. You know, we have to modernise, folks. There are more sports than the grass-based sports in this country. And the term minority sports is, to me, and to a lot of people, an insulting term. You are a minority. Imagine telling someone you are a minority. It wouldn't be tolerated from people in the traveller or the Roman community or people in the black community or certain communities where they are treated like minorities. But to say that to people, it just says you're less than we are. And I'm sorry, but that's not really right, is it? You know? Not right at all. So my ask really is that you start to consider ice hockey, figure skating, curling, para ice hockey, other things that we can do, public skating, just for health and well-being, even just for recreational purposes that can be used 24-7, well not 24-7, but you know what I mean, year round. From early in the morning to late at night. And people can enjoy it. Dublin is a very big city. It's a multicultural city with people here from Europe. Lots and lots of people from North America. Who have grown up with this sport. The Googles, the Facebooks, the Amazons, the LinkedIns. Have thousands of people who have grown up with hockey. And yes, they look with us in complete astonishment when we say we don't have one sorry there is interest a lot of people want to play hockey but they can't so my request is just you know modernize think about what is really needed here and what's really needed here is for you guys in government 
and Sport Ireland and anyone who can influence or support to consider that's Kingsley Aiken's advice there would you consider working with the Irish Ice Hockey Association and the Irish Skating Association and the, the curlers in having ice sports in this country and we might surprise you look up Connor Stakelham as a figure skater training in the UK we have to go to the United Kingdom to train which is Belfast okay we have a long way to travel especially if we live in Mayo in Kilkenny or in Cork or even in Dublin and then to get back at like 2, 3 and in some cases 4am it just has to stop so uh, if you can share this video if you can you know contact us IIHA you know is the website IIHA.org or office at IIHA.org again you can contact me here on social media or anywhere to give me a buzz or any local Garda station as they say and ultimately we want to try and get to the point where the sport of ice hockey and ice sports are developed and enhanced and we can do what Denmark has done and end up in the top tier. The UK by the way our nearest neighbours are in the top tier. They've done amazing work. They worked their asses off, they developed their players and their sport to the point where they grew it. They won promotion in the tournament in Belfast a couple of years ago. They were at the Worlds a couple of years ago in 2019. Unfortunately 2020 didn't happen because of Covid and 2020 is due to happen now with Latvia and UK are in there, Team GB. They're our closest neighbours and there is no reason on earth why we cannot do well at this sport. So look at, that's me today, my ramble. Look at that sky. This is a rarity in Ireland folks. There's the meadow. But it isn't always like this. Sometimes it's not particularly nice. But having a rink would allow us to train indoors. So keep well. Bye from me. Bye from Toby. Toby, here. Goodbye. And keep well. Okay, watch out for each other. Thanks, folks. Bye.